Hello everyone, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. I'm here to show you my progress. It's not finished. Progress reports on my Journal Jam February. So I think I'm finally getting a hang of this journal of this junk journal side of my Journal Jam project. Let me know if you think I've gotten a little more junky. All right. So February romance, Valentine's day and all that good stuff. I decided to do a corset binding. So it goes all the way around to the other side. Really cute. This man-made leather material. And let's take a look inside. So I haven't finished the inside cover pocket. So just ignore that. Let me cover it. So I've got this vela, not this vellum, this acetate pocket here with a bunch of goodies uh, inside, you know, backwards and forwards. I made this tag. Uh, I've got this first page here full of a bunch of fun things. I made lots of booklets like this one over here. It's a booklet, even though it's made out of vellum, but how cute is this four page little, little booklet here. And I held it together with a staple right there. See that? And just a bunch of things, guys. Lots of layering, lots of layering. So let me take you through it. We've got this fun little treat bag here, some a postcard, this layered piece here, our fantastic uh, signature page. You've got a little insert here. Then here is where I got junky, guys. I got a little junky here. So I added this panel. Then I made a tie here so everything can stay together for some additional photo areas here, right? You want to do photo and journaling. Then you have this area here and another tuck space here, and you can even tuck down here if you wanted to. Um, so I think I'm getting the hang of this, of, of combining the looks of, well, Journal Jam is a, a combination of mini albums, which is what I love to do junk journals and planners. So I've, I've dabbled in the planner wor world. I, I haven't dabbled in the junk journal world. This is the first time, well, my second book, uh, the first one is, was the January one that turned out absolutely adorable. This is January right here. Really fun, fun things. I encourage you guys to check it out. I added a bunch of things since the last time you saw it. So all sorts of fun things here. Disregard my post-its. I don't know. I do that all the time. I know why I do it, but I forget to take them out. So that's January. That one's pretty much completed. We could always go back and add. Uh, for instance, if we like this setup, we can add it to January, you know, so on and so forth. So here is a super cute, um, hold on. Is my mic on? I don't see my mic moving. Uh, oh, yes, it is. All right. So here, this is one of the this the SVG files in your file folder. I wanted to laminate this and I tried, but it was so thick it didn't laminate properly that I was able to pull off the the laminating sheet. But look at how cool this turned out. I'm totally saving this and adding this to something. It looks really spectacular. It's dynamite. So happy accident. I have actually two sides to that. So see how it kind of aged everything here where you can see the angel and the be my Valentine, but not right. So love. So I did a lot of fun things. I brought sexy back again, guys, with the deckled edge ruler. I hope you guys are digging yours out and using them. I made a what I'm calling a parcel page. So it's a basic top loading page, uh, but I did these this type of photo mat style only uh, when I did um. Oh gosh, what's the name of that project? Storyteller. I did a project moons ago called Storyteller and I did this type of mat where I had this in multiple photo mats. So I made a pouch for it and I design I decorated it as a parcel. So we're calling this the parcel page. I made a little vellum envelope, I decorated, tied some jute to it. So it's beautiful. I, I did this again. I love it. I will be repeating this. So there's the parcel page on the back, a little insert right here. And then we've got this here. We could do a little insert right there. Really cute. I put a little bit of a leather with, uh, with one of these garment pins. And this was another accident. <laughs> I put my, my, my leather tab, man-made guys, it's pleather my leather tab here and I accidentally 
attached it to the back of the second page, the page behind it. So we'll just have this as a top loading uh, page. I could, you know, glue it up here, whatever, or just leave it like this. And we can stick some stuff in here and that'll be an added pocket. All right, so then I did an envelope. There will be more decorating. I just want to show you what I've done so far with this Journal Jam February. I did this type of page. There's also another uh, pocket here. Uh, there's that other half of the vellum page. So some more of these undercut pages. Here's the other half of that SVG file. Uh, another, the other half of this pocket up front. Then we've got this, my deconstructed envelope that I've been doing this forever in 10 days, except that I added a, vel a acetate panel. So it's a flap panel, so nothing will fall out if you put something little. In there, here's where we come to the planner portion of the project. All right, so we've got calendars everywhere, uh, weekly calendars, monthly calendars, lots of pace, uh, space for journaling. Here we've got this tri triple pocket page here, which will add some goodies eventually. Right, and that one's top loading there. And it's got a little closure here to keep everything nice and tidy, which I'm loving. And again, I showed you that, and I think that's it in terms of pockets and stuff. Oh no, <laughs> I made another parcel page. This one, I made it bigger. It's almost the length of the page of the book. This one is, is undercut. And some more calendar pages or weekly pages. I also did this triple hinge here. So in case we want to add something later on, um, we can. So we have this hinge here to add something else to. The binding is really, really cool. Um, again, I don't know if anybody has done this type of thing before, but it's kind of a, a mashup between my hidden hinge binding and the sewing binding i forget what that one's called that simple three stitch sewing one two three so it's very cool i love it you guys will see it in the um in the project folder so let me know how you like that and here's the other one this one is my least favorite not because of the design but i used the wrong papers and i was not going to do it again so don't look at that the only way i think i can fix this is to put pictures on these hearts the hearts are adorable, adorable, the design is adorable, but I pick the wrong paper, so dislike it very much. So again, if I put pictures on and just have a little bit of the outline showing, I think I can live with it. If not, guess what's happening? Whacking that off because no can do. And the papers in Journal Jam, guys, are gorgeous. Don't forget that I'm having my semi-annual sale, 50% off everything in my shop. That's for a week. Um, I may extend it to two. We're getting a few emails that the week is not enough. So um, we shall see. But I'm just in love with this. And I think that's it. Oh, there's the cupcake. Look at how cute is that. Here's this side. I left this part open so we can put something in here. Uh, so that'll be fun. And that's it. That's the end of it. What I love about this is that this is a mess, guys, because I always have glue on my desk and all that. And all you got to do is wipe it down and it is brand spanking new. So by the time I'm done with this, there's going to be all sorts of danglies over here and and just all sorts of fun stuff. So and I love that there's so much room in here to get things done. So check out that binding there. Really fun. Let me know what you think about the uh, progress video on Journal Jam February. Let me know how I did on the junkie part. There's going to be a few things dangling from here. This is supposed to be down here, but I sewed my pages in the wrong way. So it's supposed to be like this, right? This is supposed to be down here where I end the corset. But hello, it's a Kathy project. So, you know, there's got to be something wrong with it. And that's what's wrong with it. Uh, uh, again, leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. Be nice to me. Don't say mean things to me on my, on my attempts at junk journaling. Uh, this is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon, and until next time.